thing we often see is uh, or type is that they're just negative cash flowing and they can't figure out how to stop negative cash flowing. We get in there and work with them uh, and offer strategies uh, that they can uh, implement to kind of turn that around. So, uh, for instance, uh, they, they have to find a way to work off of their customer's deposit money might be a way. Uh, there's other working capital, probably 10 different basic working capital strategies that a business owner can implement that can create working capital just by having a business. We might have to get that business owner to uh, to sharpen their focus on their business vision. Their vision may just be way too broad. They have, so they have too many people, too much everything. So we might need to corral that in and maybe have that business owner start doing more of the work. Do the work you know, first yourself often as a business owner as opposed to immediately start working on the business. You kind of often have to start, start working in the business so it will cash flow. Some businesses there is no other way to get the right working capital uh, without a line of credit. So if you're working for um, big general contractors or the government they just aren't going to pay you up front and you've got to you've got to get the line of credit so we work with clients to uh, get to a bank that will will provide that working capital line of credit for them the second problem we see with clients that come to us who are really not being successful is they're just in the wrong business they uh, decided to become an electrical contracting company when they're not an electrician so we take a client like that and try to help figure out what they really should be, what type of businesses would make sense for them, and then help transition them to, to that business. Uh, and then a third situation is a, a client might be really good at order acquisition or order fulfillment, um, the two main business processes in, in almost every business but they're not good at the other one so and they're or really bad at the other one so we'll often take that business and split it and let the business owner take the part of the business that they're really good at and then maybe take a key employee and have them create the other half of the business and just have them work symbionically together so uh, so those are the three ways that we uh, often uh, help uh, uh, prospective business owner who's who's not having success success um, uh, turn it around